Tony, thank you. Now at five, Aaron Hernandez's double murder trial is underway in Boston. The first witness testified this afternoon following opening statements from the prosecution and the defense. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado has been monitoring the trial all day. She joins us now live in the newsroom with the latest developments. Steph. Mike, today the prosecution portrayed Aaron Hernandez as an easily agitated man who killed two men he didn't even know over a spilled drink. Hernandez's defense attorney said that story was crazy. He spilled his drink. The prosecution calls it a case of two worlds colliding at a Boston nightclub. One world was that of working class immigrants. The other world was that of a professional athlete, a celebrity in the city of Boston. Telling the jury in opening statements, Aaron Hernandez felt disrespected by Daniel De Abreu in July 2012 at Club Cure. Daniel De Abreu danced into Aaron Hernandez and he spilled his drink. Assistant District Attorney Patrick Hagan saying Hernandez and his best friend Alexander Bradley left the club and waited two hours until Abreu and his friends came out. Hernandez allegedly opening fire into the victim's car. Two men's lives were snuffed out in a hail of gunfire. Both Abreu and Safiro Furtado died. Another man was shot but lived. The defense attorney, Jose Baez, poked holes in the story, saying there's no video of the drink spilling, even though the club had cameras. The main piece of evidence that would give you the whole why as to why this whole thing happened is missing. It's disappeared. Baez also sought to discredit Alexander Bradley, who will be a key witness for the prosecution in the trial, pointing out he's a drug dealer and claiming he had a previous disagreement with one of the victims. This did not happen over a spilled drink. This happened over a drug deal. Alexander Bradley had issues with Daniel De Abreu. And Aaron Hernandez was later accused of shooting Alexander Bradley in the face in 2013. The prosecution says that was due to witness intimidation. Now, the first witnesses in this trial were also called today. The sisters of both murder victims took the stand. You'll hear from them coming up new at 6. Live in the newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Jerry. Testimony is underway in the double murder trial of former Patriot star Aaron Hernandez. Hernandez, who's already serving life in prison for the 2013 shooting death of Odin Lloyd in North Attleboro, is now being tried for a deadly drive-by in Boston that took place nearly one year earlier. Now, prosecutors allege the former Pro Bowl tight end gunned down Daniel De Abreu and Safiro Furtado back in 2012 following a confrontation over a spilled drink at a Boston nightclub. But the defense argues that it could have been the government's key witness, not Hernandez, who actually pulled the trigger over a drug deal. Today, the victim's loved ones responded to the defense's allegations. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us now with testimony that's new at 6. Steph. Well, Mike and Kelly, the defense spent most of the day today trying to discredit Alexander Bradley, who was expected to give an eyewitness account of this alleged murder during the trial. He was with Hernandez the night that prosecutors say the former NFL player killed two men he didn't even know. A simple bump. The prosecution says Daniel De Abreu and Safiro Furtado were murdered over a minor encounter at a nightclub. Daniel De Abreu danced into Aaron Hernandez and he spilled his drink. According to Assistant District Attorney Patrick Hagan, Hernandez shot and killed the pair because he felt disrespected. Two men's lives were snuffed out in a hail of gunfire. This story not only doesn't make sense, it's outright crazy. Defense attorney Jose Baez says the drink spilling never happened. He has a different theory involving Hernandez's friend and marijuana dealer Alexander Bradley, who was there that night. This did not happen over a spilled drink. This happened over a drug deal. Alexander Bradley had issues with Daniel De Abreu. The sisters of Abreu and Furtado both testified, emotional as they recounted learning their brothers had died. Yeah, both testified their brothers did not do drugs. Were you aware that uh, your brother was in a dispute with a uh, narcotics provider from Connecticut? No, that doesn't sound like my brother at all. And in the year after this alleged murder, police say Aaron Hernandez shot Alexander Bradley in the face in Florida in an attempt to silence him. Bradley survived and is slated to testify for the prosecution during this trial. It's slated to last four to six weeks. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.